All right. Hello, everybody. Hello, Shepherd University Community uh, alumni. My name is Ian Kiner. It is great to be invited uh, to presenting with all of you again. Uh, we're all, we've all gotten very comfortable in this digital space. It's amazing to be able to, to connect with everybody uh, live on Facebook, as well as then anybody and everybody who's joined into the Zoom session. But we're not here to talk all about technology. We're here to talk about travel. And the Alumni Association has put together an amazing roster of trips. And we're here to talk about one in particular. Uh, and it's an opportunity to visit one of the most majestic places uh, as part of our union, uh, an absolutely beautiful place, and that is Alaska. The session is going to be pretty, pretty quick. We're going to go through some basics of the trip hopefully get you excited about the opportunity, give you your next steps, what you need to do to make sure you can travel uh, with Shepherd University and your fellow alumni to an absolutely amazing destination. Uh, and then we will all be done. So if you'll bear with me just one moment, I'm gonna share my screen, uh, which will get us into our session. So just one moment here. All right, so we should have everything good to go. I cannot see any of you anymore. So I do have my, uh, my comments up here. So if there's anything that anybody needs to say, if things aren't working uh, or we need to adjust anything, uh, by all means, just put something into chat and I will catch that out of the corner of my eye. So here we go, the Roaming Rams Alumni Travel Program. We have four trips handpicked for Roaming Rams and for Shepherd University. Back up real quick. Uh, we've talked and had sessions on a couple of them. A matter of fact, our Greek Island hopping trip is actually getting ready to depart in the next few days. So some, uh, some absolutely excited, thrilled travelers are gonna have a breathtaking experience traveling around Greece uh, for a little over a week. We've talked about if you joined us on the last session or you remember that last session, we talked about the Canadian Rockies, uh, another absolutely incredible destination. And today we're going to talk about Alaska. Down the road, next session, we'll talk about an amazing opportunity in Ireland. But for today, we're going to focus in on Alaska. Before I get into the details of the trip, I want to share a little bit about our organization. And rather than you having to listen to me, I have a video that you will enjoy that will tell you all about Cost Saver and the, the, well, basically what to expect on that Alaska Lake Here you go. All right, so just a super quick video there. Oh, wanted it back. So super quick video there. The biggest part about Cost Saver and the way that our trips operate, it really is the essentials by us tailored by you. So it's that perfect mix of being able to have everything taken care of, but then giving you plenty of options and free time and opportunities to do the things that you specifically want to do and see. And in a destination like Alaska, which is what we'll be talking about today, uh, it couldn't be a more perfect fit. So Alaska Wilderness is the trip that you have available to you. The dates for that trip are Sunday, May 14th through Monday, May 22nd of next year. So mid-May to late May, perfect time and perfect season to go on this journey. 
See here, a quick map to fly in and out of Anchorage, Alaska. From there, we'll make our way up north to Denali National Park for a couple of nights. We'll make our way back down into Denali State Park, uh, a small town there where you get to learn a little bit about the, the outdoor kind of fur trader uh, living off the land of life that was that is still so critical and a part of the Alaska culture. We'll head back down to Anchorage and then make our way to the coast in Seaward and then Knife North National Park. An absolutely incredible eight, nine, nine day itinerary. Fly in and out of Alaska. So of course, of course you fly in and out of Alaska. Fly in and out of Anchorage. So super, super easy uh, for those flights to get in and start and at the conclusion of your itinerary. So your trip is essentials. Remember in that video, all the essentials are all taken care of. So we've got your travel director and your driver. They're of course there with you the entire way, be able to point you in the right directions, get you to where you wanna go. If there's anything that you wanna see or do in particular, uh, I don't know about everybody else. For me, I'm a big uh, microbrewery fan. I, I, I enjoy the microbreweries and, and having a beer at the the local breweries and, and, and so on in the destinations you visit. Alaska and Anchorage are home to some of my favorites. So if you are like me uh, and you want to give a go to one of the local breweries, then our travel director will be able to point you certainly in the right direction. If it's more history or wildlife, you're just getting out and going for a hike, our travel director will be able to point you in the right direction, no matter what it is that you want to do. You're also, we're also going to include a very special Make Travel Matter experience, which I'll talk about a little bit more in just a moment. We have our local guides, so in Denali and in Kenai and in the different destinations and places that we're going to visit, you'll have that opportunity to really immerse yourself into the destination. Of course, no trip would be a trip without the accommodation. So eight nights accommodations, all of the accommodation is three to four star hotels, very comfortable, uh, very clean, very nice. Uh, all in the locations where we're going to be. Of course, all the on-trip transportation, we need to get you around from point A to point B. So once you arrive in Anchorage to when you're ready to depart, all of your transportation is taken care of. And then we've got nine meals included. Now you might be thinking, nine days, nine meals. Well, yeah, we don't want to include every meal every day because sometimes you're going to want to eat what you want to eat when you want to eat, and who are we to tell you exactly what that is. But the breakfast is going to be included every day. It's the most important meal of the day for sure. And then there'll be select lunches and dinners and the snacks thrown in there uh, where we can either do something really special for you or the destination just requires you. Over the itinerary, if you think back to the map, the five amazing destinations. Of course, we start in Anchorage, Denali National Park, Tlaquitna, Seaward, and then from Seaward, we visit Nye Fjord. So some great, absolutely epic places visited on this trip. Included in optional experience. So again, so it's essentials by us, really tailored by you. Now, because it's Alaska, we've included a lot more than we typically would. Usually you have a lot of things that are optional, but in some of the places we're going, there are just things that you are going to do no matter what. So we've gone ahead and included those in the itinerary. Of course, in Anchorage, uh, you want to do that city tour. Eh? Anchorage is an amazing, amazing cosmopolitan, rugged, urban, but rural city. It's absolutely fantastic. In Anchorage, the earthquake park, uh, or going and visiting Lake Hood, seeing the planes taking off and landing right there from Lake Hood. It's absolutely amazing. Can't go to Alaska without visiting Denali, and of course, North America's highest peak. To get from Anchorage up to Denali, uh, we're going to take an absolutely spectacular rail journey. So we'll board in Anchorage at the Anchorage Rail Station and make our way via rail up through uh, from the coast all the way into the mountains where we'll arrive in Denali uh, and into the absolutely epic wilderness of Alaska. Along the way, and while in Denali, we'll get the Denali Natural History Tour. Uh, as we make our way back southward towards the coast, potentially, or you'll get the jet boat tour on the Chutna River. 
The Make Travel Matter experience, and I should pause and just explain what that is. So Make Travel Matter is an initiative that we began a number of years ago. We know as a travel company and as providers to great experiences for your travelers, as well as responsible curators of the places that we visit, it is important to do and give back to the, the people, to the places and to the planet that we visit. And our main travel matter experiences are an opportunity for us to extend that to you, the traveler. So while we do a lot of things from reducing carbon emissions, supporting uh, local economies and local providers, the main travel matter experiences not only give you an opportunity to experience and immerse yourself in the destination, but it gives you an opportunity to directly give back, directly give back to the place you're visiting. And in Alaska, we have a great main travel matter experience where we're going to visit the Alaska Wildlife Conservation Center. There you're going to get to see and visit and just experience the different animals and wildlife that roam the lands of Alaska. Now, Alaska is completely surrounded on three sides by water, so you have tremendous uh, your tremendous sea life and experiences on the coast, which we will get to momentarily. But inland, the wildlife is just as exceptional. And the Alaska Wildlife Conservation Center not only provides research, rehabilitation, an opportunity to see these majestic animals, but in everything that you're doing and simply by visiting, we're contributing to the good that they are doing for the animals and the wildlife that call Alaska home. So great experience just to see the animals and you're also doing some wonderful good for the wildlife there in Alaska. As I mentioned, of course, we are going to make our way to the coast and seaward. We'll be able to take that wildlife cruise in the uh, Kenya. Yeah, sorry about that. I got that name wrong. In the Kenya Fords, Fjords National Park. My tongue's all twisted today. But in the national park there, uh, adjacent to seaward, we'll be able to take a wonderful cruise. Hopefully, we'll get to see all manner of wildlife, uh, everything from whales to sea otters, sea lions and seals, uh, all call that part of Alaska home. What we can see on any given day, who knows, but everybody cross your fingers uh, that we'll be able to see a little bit of everything. Optional along the way, all sorts of stuff. Uh, I've only listed out a few things, whether it be hikes or some of the other uh, park service programs in Denali or Kenai Fjords, uh, wilderness whitewater rafting in Denali. If you are adventurous or even slightly adventurous, I highly recommend the whitewater rafting. It is an exceptional experience. Not only does it get the blood pumping, get the adrenaline going, but it is just beautiful to be on the river uh, in Denali National Park. Also have the opportunity, if you want to get up in the air, do some flight seeing, uh, a great term, but get up above of the Alaska range and the mountains and the, and the, uh, the glaciers and everything that you can potentially see there. Dog sledding, of course, Alaska is famous for the Iditarod dog race. We won't be there at Iditarod time, but potentially you can give your hand to some dog sledding and much, much more. What's great about all the optional activities, they're there if you want to do them. If you prefer to just go for a hike or just sit back and relax, you can do so. That's the great part about the optional experiences that you can choose to fill your free time however you see fit. So some important details, everyone wants to know, yes, I wanna go, let's get it done. So a nine day itinerary, uh, we spend it all in Alaska in and out of Anchorage. Uh, the price for that $4,530, that includes everything that I've mentioned, all of your inclusions, all of your accommodation, all of your transportation, uh, really the only things that you would need uh, in addition to that would be your airfare in and out of Anchorage. And then any of that extra money for any optionals that you wanna do or for souvenirs or for any food or drink, depending on how uh, you want to uh, enjoy the destination. So $4,530, per person. Uh, if you want to travel, if you're traveling on your own, 
that's fantastic. Please come along. Uh, all of the rates are twin share and we do room, uh, room pairing so you can have and make a new great relationship or friend. Uh, if you want to have your own room, and I understand sometimes folks do, there is a single supplement. So as long as we have space available, uh, you can pay that single supplement and have your own room. You do not have to pay the single supplement if you're traveling solo. I think that's really important. Uh, if you're traveling solo or with a partner or with a group of friends, it's that $4,530 price. You only pay that additional single supplement if you for sure want your own room. So a great price for everything that you get to see and do in Alaska, especially now. Uh, certainly through COVID, Alaska has seen a massive surge in tourism. Uh, being able to travel domestically, you do not need a passport, of course, to travel to Alaska. It is one of our 50 states. Uh, it has seen a huge surge in tourism. So while it has always been a popular destination uh, over the last year and looking on into the end of 2022 and into 2023 and even 2024, Alaska is seeing uh, incredible popularity. So the opportunity to be able to travel there, the price, which is a fantastic price point for Alaska, and then the space available. Now, I haven't mentioned it until now, but I should. What Shepard has done for the Alumni Association for this particular trip is it is a dedicated Shepard roaming rams itinerary. This is a special departure, a customized itinerary. So this trip is not offered to anybody else. You won't find it in any other brochure or catalog or website. It is purely and exclusively available to you, the Shepherd University community, which is very, very exciting. A once in a lifetime opportunity offered exclusively to you. Uh, and I hope it's something you each get the opportunity to take. Now, I did mention and allude to at the beginning, there are a few other trips that Shepard has prepared for you. Uh, the first of which is leaving in just a few days, Greek Island hopping. So a great, a great itinerary there. If Greece is what you're after, be sure to reach out to the Alumni Association. Maybe I'll add that back in for 2023 or 2024. Also coming up in October, the wonders of the Canadian Rockies. Uh, again, an absolutely epic destination. I highly recommend you go back to last month. You should be able to find on Facebook or on the uh, Shepherd University Alumni Association Roaming Rams website. You can see the information about the wonders of the Canadian Rockies. Uh, coming up in 2023, one of our two 2023 trips is our Shamrocks and Leprechauns, a great itinerary in Ireland. And then, of course, the uh, majestic, beautiful, every adjective you can possibly think of Alaska Wilderness itinerary uh, that will be in May of next year. So really important, take in everything. I'm going to pause on this screen for just a little bit. Uh, you want to get your space, you want to get confirmed as soon as humanly possible. Space is limited. I mentioned this is an exclusive departure just for Shepherd University. So once the space is gone, it is gone for good. It is only a $200 deposit to secure your spot. So 200 bucks, that's it. And you can make payments all the way up to uh, approximately 90 days before that May departure date. So you can kind of stretch out those payments. You can, of course, pay it all in one lump sum if you're super excited and just want to get it done. Uh, that is easy as well. And if you have any questions, that phone number, that email address, you can shoot us an email or give us a call and we'll be able to answer every single one of your questions. So contact us to book today. The number 888 888-370-2736. And that email address is scheduled, S-C-H-E-D-U-L-E-D -E -E at T-T-C dot com. We look forward to chatting with you, answering all of your questions, giving you more details, and giving you whatever information you need to get excited about this great trip. And that's really it. Like I mentioned, a quick presentation. I don't want to bore you with going through all the monotony of every single solitary detail. Uh, I think those, those experiences here, which I'll just come back to, uh, if those don't get you excited, I don't know what will, but absolutely fantastic opportunities. Uh, you get your, your time on the rails, you get your time 
on a river, you get your time uh, in, uh, on the ocean and everything surrounded by just epic, majestic beauty. So an absolutely fantastic itinerary. I am gonna go ahead and stop sharing and jump out of the presentation. Bear with me one second here. There we go. We are now back in our group. So just a few questions that I saw uh, or that have come through. And I know that everybody's asking, I will mention again that the deposit to secure your spot, only $200. Uh, you can call us with that at any point in time. The sooner, the better, because this trip will sell out. Uh, every single Alaska departure that we have run in 2022 uh, and now running in 2023 has completely sold out. Uh, so you definitely want to make sure uh, you don't uh, you don't linger too long. Of course, if you have any questions, you need to ask us anything, by all means, reach out. We will answer all of those questions. Uh, in the chat, and I'm going to ask the wonderful crew at Shepherd if they wouldn't mind. Well, I'm sure it's already posted there. I don't even need to ask. They're always two steps ahead of me. Uh, in the chat for the webinar, as well as then on the Facebook page, is a link to the Roaming Rams travel page will take you directly to the itinerary. You can see the day by day, specifically when you're gonna have the opportunity to do all of those experiences. It'll have all of the contact details so you can reach out, uh, you can reach out and get all of the information you need, uh, whatever questions you might have, and then we can make sure you are ready to go. Uh, and I think that covers off just about everything. I will ask a wonderful hosts, Katie and Jessica, is there anything that I've left off, any questions that you might have uh, or anything else that I could add? I think you pretty well covered everything about this trip. I, you, you mentioned that this is a customized trip specifically for the Shepherd University Alumni Association. It can't be found anywhere else. And we we did that because we wanted to make sure it was a very special experience. We've had people asking us to book something for Alaska for a long time. Um, I know right now travel is still, people are still a little bit hesitant, but people are getting out there more. So we will always want to make sure we include a domestic trip um, each year within our travel offering. So this year it's Alaska. Um, we really, really hope that a lot of people are excited about this tour and We'll hop on the opportunity to go. There's a lot of really great excursions that are going on with this tour, a lot of great experiences. Um, and you mentioned there's plenty of time for exploring on your own and trying out things that you might find interesting. Um, it sounds like you've been to Alaska. Um, so if you want to share any of your personal recommendations, that would be lovely just to give people some, you know, incentive and some ideas of what they might be getting into up there. Yeah, well, I will tell you, I will tell you, that's a great question, Katie. I will tell you one of the big reasons I travel is, is for just culinary exploration. I love food, I love drink, I love exploring the history of a place, the culture of a place, uh, you know, through a plate, through a glass. I think it says so much about uh, the history of a location, uh, as well as the, the, you know, the, the ancient culture all the way through uh, what has influenced the destination uh, up until our modern visit there. And Alaska, it, Alaska is no different. Uh, so taking advantage, there will be opportunities uh, to take advantage of, of giving your first taste of Eskimo ice cream. Uh, I don't know that Eskimo ice cream is the PC term for it, but since that's what you can find it as uh, in a lot of places, we'll go ahead and use that. Uh, I'm not going to tell anybody what it is. I just suggest if you come across it, if you have the opportunity, and I, I assure you, you will come across it. So when you have the opportunity, uh, give it a go, try it. It is an absolutely very special and very unique experience. Uh, you know, it's something that's been enjoyed by the indigenous populations of Alaska for shoot a millennia, and the opportunity to be able to to, to eat the same foods that have been eaten there uh, for that long and been prepared. It's just, it's just exceptional. Certainly seafood, uh, taking every opportunity to eat all of the fresh fish and seafood that are available 
uh, in Alaska is going to be key. Uh, if you don't like eating, can't imagine who you are. But if you just you're not into it, you're happy with uh, you're happy with a salad or a sandwich or whatever it might be. You're still going to have the most amazing time. Just I would think the biggest thing, if I could say just one thing, no matter what, just pause for a little while. Uh, so often, so many of us, when we're in a new place, we're excited to be there. We wanna, we wanna pack in everything we possibly can. We wanna fill every possible moment. Um, you will literally be in one of the most beautiful places on, on the planet. Words do not adequately describe, uh, especially when you get up into Don Ali, when you're actually gonna see uh, and be able to experience. And, and the biggest advice I can give is just, just stop, just pause, uh, listen to the wind rustling through the trees or the water uh, running through the rivers and streams. Uh, and pause and look around. You never know when you're going to see a bear or some other wildlife, an elk or anything else, even a moose passing through, you just don't know, or in the rivers and the streams, uh, seeing all the salmon and the, and the fish and on the coast, uh, just pausing and looking out into the distance and seeing if you can see the plume from a whale, you know, surfacing out in the distance, just, just pause and just take it all and enjoy the nature, uh, enjoy the smells, enjoy the sounds, Put your phone away. There'll be plenty of opportunities for the selfies and for the for the TikTok video and the Instagram pic. There, you'll have undoubtedly a million photos. Uh, but every now and then, just pause, put that phone away, and just be in the moment and just take it all in because it is one of the most epically beautiful places, unspoiled places uh, that any of us will ever have an opportunity to visit. That was an amazing plug. <laughs> I mean, I've never personally been to Alaska. It's on the bucket list. So maybe if I can make it work and works, you know, the office isn't too crazy, I can get on this tour. Um, I also do want to say that anybody who signs up for this tour, any alums who sign up for this tour, we are always looking for what I kind of describe as like a tour ambassador, meaning somebody who can take photos, send them back to our office so we can give live updates during the trip um, on our social media pages to show everybody exactly what they're missing out on who didn't get to go on the trip this time around. Um, also, if you have suggestions of locations you'd like to see us book trips to, you can call our office or email either myself or Jessica. Our contact information can be found on the Alumni Association website. Um, which is shepherd.edu, and then you click the alumni and friends tab, and we have an alumni association option there, and you can find our contact info that way, um, or messaging any of our social media pages. That's a great way to get a hold of us as well. Um, as Ian mentioned during his presentation, we have several other trips going over the course of the next year, and our next travel info session we have booked just like we do today. It's going to be on Zoom. You can either join us via the Zoom or watch us live. We'll be live streaming on our Facebook page. Um, you can So you can watch it that way is for our Shamrocks and Leprechauns tour. And it will be Thursday, September 8th, 5 p.m. So make sure um, you join us for that one because that's Ireland and I love Ireland, have been there. It's wonderful. Um, I hope everybody watches that and it's, it's a place I'm passionate about and I hope everybody joins that tour. So we're excited. We're excited for all the tours we booked with you guys. Uh, you have great, you have a great selection. The roster of trips this year is absolutely incredible. Uh, and I will say, I, I don't have a whole lot to add, but just a couple of quick things that I do want to say, you know, for everybody who's watching, all of you Shepherd alone, bring your family, bring your friends. Uh, you know, you don't, you don't have to, you don't have to have been a Shepherd graduate to go on the trip. Certainly, be with someone who's a graduate, uh, but bring your family, bring your friends, um, join the community, you know, the Shepherd community, uh, I know is, is very tight, very passionate. So share the opportunity. Uh, if you want to go by yourself, if, you, if, if all of your friends are fuddy-duddies, we want to have you join along. You're going to have a great time. Uh, if you can get your friends, your family, uh, everyone involved, then please do. We'd love to have everybody uh, and have just those, those epic memories and those stories. And like Katie mentioned, those photos, 
uh, that the Alumni Association can share out for many years to come about this absolutely exceptional itinerary. Well, this has been great. We still have a couple minutes left. So um, Jess, do you have any questions or thoughts that you want to add? Or um, if Ian, if there's any last minute things, we still have about five minutes left before we're kicked off of Zoom. No, nope, not that I can think of at the moment. I think Ian has covered a lot. And with it being a domestic trip, I think that hopefully um, helps people feel more comfortable wanting to travel. So yeah, it sounds like a really great trip. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And just, yeah, just a couple of just travel practical things. Uh, yeah, it's domestic, no passport. You fly from you know, straight into Anchorage, you're good to go. Uh, if you want to fly in because you are crossing a couple of time zones, if you want to fly in a day prior or stay a day late, let us know at the time of booking uh, and we will do everything we, we can to help you out arranging a pre-night or post-night if you want to have a little extra time and certainly do that. Uh, in the time of year will be fantastic, but of course it's Alaska, so plan for everything. Uh, you never know what the weather might be. Uh, and otherwise, everything should be good to go. We do recommend, we do definitely recommend that everybody traveling uh, definitely be vaccinated. Um, I know everybody's has their own take on vaccinations, but especially when you're going to be in airplanes and airports and so on, uh, your health and safety is paramount to us. So I just have to recommend, you know, if you're going to be traveling, be vaccinated. Uh, if you're not, let us know. That's, you know, we don't want to, we don't want to uh, prevent anybody from having a great experience. Uh, hopefully by the time we get to May, all of this COVID business will be less and less in the front and forefront of what we're talking about. Uh, so we'll all just keep our fingers crossed and that'll just be a, a footnote to anything. But we've been running trips for the entire duration of 2022. As I mentioned, every Alaska itinerary has been sold out and we've, uh, I can tell you, we've had some absolutely incredible memories shared with us, some, some absolutely beautiful experiences uh, and, and just so many great memories uh, that have come from those. So by all means, travel is picking back up. It is, it is coming back with a, you know, with a vengeance. Uh, and this is just a great opportunity to be able to, to take this trip and take this trip with the Shepherd community. We're just excited to be able to do it for you and do it with you. We're so excited to have uh, so many Rams traveling with us. Well, thank you, Ian. It's been great having you present another wonderful trip itinerary that we have booked with you all. And we're excited to have you back in September to talk about Ireland with us. Oh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Uh, and everybody make sure as you're planning your Alaska trip, whitewater rafting, even if you're, even if you're, you're not into, you know, kind of the adventure or a drill, you got to do it. You just absolutely have to do it. To be on the river in Denali is just something so special and unique. So everybody plan on that one for sure. Uh, plan on the Eskimo ice cream. Uh, those are absolute must. Beyond that, just enjoy yourself and have an absolutely epic time. And I cannot wait to come back and talk about Ireland. Great, we're excited. So um, if you guys have any questions, again, find Jess or I's contact information, shoot us an email, give us a call, message through social media. We're happy to answer. Um, and we'll see you next time. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Jessica. Great. Bye. Have a great evening. You too. Bye.